Manish Nawani, welcome to Charichakra.com as guest editor. Thank you. Of all the characters that you have played, with which character do you identify with the most? Um, I think it's going to be lovely in Shutterbug Boys. One, because it was, uh, I think, my first project as a film, as a project. I, was, I just passed out of uh, St. Xavier's Mumbai and I just enrolled myself into Barry John. Just fresh, you know, into this big bag world of Mumbai. And I got this film. And he, I think, it's very dear to me as a project, as a film, as everything. Also, this guy, um, he was he was very fond of good things. He was fond of watches. I'm fond of watches. And there was this scene in the film where uh, he takes off his watch and gives it to the auto guy. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite scene because I could actually feel it. I could, I'd worn that watch and it was shot during the end of the shoot. Mm -hmm. So I'd worn that watch, mm -hmm. say, for like 24 hours in that entire mm -hmm. 30 days of shoot or 35 days of shoot and I had to give it to that auto guy and, and I could actually feel it, I could feel that I'm giving a part of me to that person. Came out well, the scene came out well. That was one thing, I had worked uh, for like two months in just, just for fun in American Express call center and this person was playing a guy who works in a call center, this character was of a person who played who was in, in a call center. So that really helped me, that I could relate to that character that way. And he was uh, fond of cracking jokes, mm -hmm. silly jokes, good jokes, bad jokes. Mm -hmm. He was fond of humor in life, so I could relate to that as well. So I think it was by far the best character that I've played. I wouldn't say the best, but yeah, very close to my heart. Is there any role that you regret doing? Uh, not really. No. Didn't come my way. But yeah. I don't. What kind of roles would you never do? Uh, I would never say never. I would like to sort of... Even if it's something that I don't believe in. Like for example, uh, Sudhir Sharma, who is also the producer of Buddy Project that I'm doing right now. He sort of, uh, it was very kind of him that he pulled me into the TV industry. industry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I was uh, very keen on doing only films after Shuttercock Boys. Mm -hmm. But he knew that what I would be missing out on. Mm -hmm. And he was actually right. When I joined as Nakul in Karolbag, mm -hmm. I realized that, you know, I've been missing the major lessons in acting till now. Because I could see myself every day on screen, I could see what I'm doing wrong, I could see what I'm doing right. Mm -hmm. And it got me fame, it got me money, it got me recognition. Mm -hmm. So in a way he was right and he was pitching me for the lead role mm -hmm. for Karol Bhatt. Mm -hmm. Things didn't work out, I didn't take too much interest, he, he must have uh, realized that or whatever. But he was keen on working with me and I was really keen on working with him. And at that point, the funny part is I didn't even know that he's the producer of Sunshine Production. He's a producer. Mm -hmm. So he called me one day, he said, there's this character, Nakul. Mm -hmm. He's a negative guy, but would you like to play it? I can only promise that it would be a wonderful drama. Mm -hmm. I said, for how long is it? He said, three months. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. For three months, I can give my time to you. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, wo bhi. Nah, he must also be thinking, how is this person? Why do you do this work? But he was very kind, you know, if you meet him, you would know he's very humble and he's very down to earth. So, tabhi, I didn't know he is the producer. So, I took his option, I took that call, okay, I want to do this show. I did the show. And I think, if I could also say after Loveline, I think that was the best character that I played. Because in every scene, I had a craft. In every scene, not even an episode or the journey that I had, it went on for like 9-10 months that uh, my track, although it was a cameo because people loved it and people loved to hate me. And it went on for longer than what it was, we thought that it would go on for. So I think it was, I had lost track, what was your question again? Uh, I think I was asking what kind of roles you'd never do. I, see I never thought I would rape on screen but I had to write for this character. So, 
in a way, it was something that I would have never done on stage mm -hmm. when I did that. I, I don't know it. I really would like to challenge myself every time with a new character that I play. I would like to challenge myself. Uh, so, what is your dream role like? My dream role, at least on TV, would be that would get me a lot of TRPs mm -hmm. and more money and more work. Mm -hmm. Where it only happens when, I think it's, it's also luck. Mm -hmm. you, it depends on both the things. Like you work hard and you get that sort of role where people love watching you. It could be a romantic drive, it could be, uh, say, an underdog. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. I would. I just hope that I get that sort of character where Everyone loves me. Like for Nakul, it was more like, you know, a selected mm. audience mm. would love me. Ki haya, he's smart, he is, he's edgy, but he also has that negative element in him. Mm. They would love me for what I'm doing on screen. Mm. So I would need a character that has a lot of grey, like mm. we all do in life. Has a lot of grey, that has mind grey. Mm. But he also has a lot of good things. Like for example, right now I'm doing Buddy Project, right? Mm. So this guy has a lot of attitude. Abhijit Chandan Roy, the person that I'm playing, Abhi has a lot of attitude because he's a star son. Mm -hmm. He's the son of a superstar. So mm -hmm. he knows that, you know, I have the money, I have the power, my, my dad is a trustee in the school. But then again, he doesn't get along with his dad that I can't relate to. Mm -hmm. I used to love my dad. I lost him in uh, November. So that's, I wear his watch now. I don't wear my other watches. So that I can keep him alive in some way or the other. I mean, it's just something that I try doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I would call my mom more now. I would do those things which my dad would do. Mm -hmm. Just to be in that sphere that he was in. Mm -hmm. He was he was very quiet and calm. So I miss that calm energy. Mm -hmm. But this, and that's the reason I think acting sort of gives me that, mm -hmm. you know, that energy. Mm -hmm. So I keep myself going and I keep myself motivated. Mm -hmm. In fact, when Sudeep again offered me this role, mm -hmm. I just met him to just ask him and take some guidance. He's like an elder brother. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, I would like to tell you why I call him uh, Sudhir. Mm -hmm. Everyone calls him Sudhir sir and you know what not. So, when I didn't know he's a producer, I would call him Sudhir because he looked really young. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I met him on the sets of Karol Bar. I said, uh, Sudhir, who's the producer of the show? And he goes, I am the producer of the show. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, you're so young? And he's like, yeah, I'm the producer. And I said, am I supposed to call you sir? Like, no, it's okay, you can call me Sadeep. So that's how we became friends and now I met him after my dad passed away. I did a lot of cycling because that's how I lost weight. I put on for Perfect Narangi, the film that I was doing before uh, this show happened. So I just met him, he saw me, he's like, you've lost a lot of weight, is it stress or is it cardio? I said, it's more of cardio, a little bit of stress because after my dad, obviously I was a little stressed. I thought I might have to leave acting and go back and stay with my mom. Thankfully, my elder brother is taking good care of my mom. So I don't need to think about it. Now, I gave myself six months. I thought, if something happens, then I'm sticking around. Because I was out of uh, Mumbai for a long time. Mm -hmm. I came back, so he offered me this. He offered me a college going student. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised because he was the one who made me play someone who was 10 years older than my real age in mm -hmm. Karol Bagh. Mm -hmm. So he had that belief that I can do uh, a certain kind of rules and I can I'd be able to carry it off mm -hmm. that versatility that I might have doubted he thought that okay I have it mm -hmm. and I think I with him it's more like if I have to relate good time with someone mm -hmm. I would relate it with Sudhir mm -hmm. because that's what he's always given me in my life mm -hmm. when I was going through a low phase he again offered me this he showed me as I told you that you know what TV can offer you mm -hmm. he's always been open like that for discussions. Like in a moment's time he took out one and a half hours of his time. For a producer to take out one and a half hours is something. And he spoke to me, he guided me in the right direction. And he took my audition later. I had an intuition that he might call me for something. I had written a long message that you know I want to stick to acting and everything. And he called me and he, he told me about the character. He said I can try if you give, him, give a good audition. I gave my best. And I'm doing this road and this this guy, Avi, he doesn't really get along with his dad. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I can't relate. Mm -hmm. It's something that that challenges me. So it's something that I would have never done, but I'm doing it. Because it keeps me going. But again, as I said, this person has 
a lot of great, but he also has a lot of positive. Like with his sister, mm -hmm. he's very fond of his sister. Mm -hmm. He really gets along with his sister. He's very protective. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so things like that. Okay, please tell me about your upcoming films. Um, we've shot for Perfect Narangi, and it's almost ready. It should be out. I'm hoping this year. And I haven't spoken to the producer in last three months, so I don't know about the progress. The last I spoke to him, he showed me the film. Mm -hmm. So the little bit of color correction was left, and a little bit of sound editing was left. So I think it should be ready in another two months' time, and I hope it releases soon. And it's about this uh, guy Aman, played mm -hmm. by me, who's uh, who's into voyeurism, mm -hmm. and he peeps into others' buildings and everything. And he falls in love with a girl, which is very cliche in that sense. But uh, it's also his journey about finding his dad. So that dad element has always been like sort of common in all of these roles that I've played. And in fact, I find it weird now that for Loveline as a character sketch, as my homework, I had made his character because we read the script. I knew what's happening. So as a character, I. I'd made him this fellow who jokes around a lot because when his dad passed away when he was young, he didn't want that sympathy. Mm -hmm. So that was his defense mechanism. And I realized that after my dad passed away, after a couple of days, I went through the same, uh, you know, feelings that I don't need your sympathy. I just need my dad back. It's, it was more like I would cycle a lot because that's what he taught me when I was a kid. He taught me how to cycle. I would cycle a lot. I would like cycle for one, one and a half hours. I just ended up losing like six, seven kilos. I was like, it's cool. Eh? If I can play a college student, if that was meant to be, then it's cool. Are you opening to doing theater? I, as a matter of fact, have done theater. I was uh, part of my uh, theater college theater society. In fact, we revived it, and it was our dream to sort of get the first prize. We always got the second prize or the third prize. And we handed it over to the potential, uh, you know, the people with potential. And uh, we finally managed to get first prize only after I passed out. But then I was in touch with them and we would organize plays. And So I've been a part of that. We, uh, we performed at NST, you know, festival for college students. That was a high point in my life, certainly. I have been active in theatre. I would like to, I would in fact love to do it again, only if time permits, because you need to devote a lot of time. So I think I save a lot of money with TV and films, and I think I would get back to theatre for a while. Are you open to do reality shows, especially like Big Boss? Um, earlier I wouldn't. Now I would. Because uh, I feel that there's a lot of... See, one thing is that I would like to see if people really act rather like that on that show. I would like to be... Because I'm comfortable with the camera, I don't really care much about what is happening around me or if people are treating me, how I look and whatever. So that's a part of my job. So I can... I am comfortable with the fact that a camera would be uh, covering me even when I'm sleeping or whatever, when I'm entering the washroom or whatever it is. So that way I'm comfortable. It opens a lot of avenues for you. That's also true. Also, I would like to challenge myself. That, you know, if I can, if you sort of lock me up in this room, would I be able to survive? Would I be able to survive with people here? Because when you're new, everyone is good to you, and then people show their real colors. So I would like to see if it's true, if it's something that I can come out of. 